What is up players? Every painter needs brushes and paints. And because I'm working remotely for the week, I needed some brushes that could get the job done. I don't want to spend too much money because I'm not going to be making this a home base or anything. So uh, Games Workshop sells this essential brush selection. Two base brushes, a shade, two layers, a dry, and a texture tool. And uh, they bundle this up. You could purchase them for $73 retail. I knew I didn't want to spend that much money. I did see that they had a selection of three brushes at the bottom of uh, when you look at this product on Games Workshop's website. So I thought, oh, I'll check that out. They're artificer brushes, which means that it's like they're top of the line, high quality brushes. And even though they're just three brushes, they're selling them for $88.50. That is uh, way too much money that I want to, I, that I don't want to spend on brushes. So I went and I looked and I found at my local game store to the area, this, the Army Painter Most Wanted Brush Set. It's the most wanted because it's the most purchased brushes. It's the ones that everybody thinks you should have in your collection. And I agree. You get a small dry brush, a standard quote unquote brush for painting um, mostly anything. And then you get an insane detail brush, which is going to be great for doing those fine details, like little face tattoos or eyeballs and stuff like that. I bought this over the counter for $25. That doesn't include tax. If I had done the smart thing and I looked online for uh, an Amazon affiliate link, I would have found this. I'm passing it on to you, my viewers. You're only going to be paying $21.78. And uh, this depends on where you are in the world. If you click the link, it'll take you to a local vendor who's selling a similar product. The savings might be less. They might be more. But uh, I strongly encourage you to check them out if you need a set of brushes, if you're just beginning, or if you want to add to your collection. What is up, players? As you may know, I am here working remotely at the in-laws place, so I do not have access to my paints or tools. I had to go out and buy just a really quick um, set of tools to be able to use here that I could keep here. And uh, one of my first purchases I knew I needed to make was looking for brushes. So I priced out some different brushes and uh, they didn't have exactly what I needed. Then I found this, it's the Army Painter Most Wanted Brush Set. And I figured, hey, it's got everything I need to get going. So we're gonna take a look at each of the brushes and then I will uh, take them out and show you how they look and how they handle. And if you'd like to pick up your own set of the Most Wanted Brush Set from Army Painter, I have an affiliate link down below in the description. So check it out and uh, you'll be helping out the studio. If you do, let's get into the product our best-selling brushes from our Wargamer range. The Wargamer Insane Detail Brush, made using Roth Martyr Sable. This extremely fine and pointed brush is perfect for painting ultra-precise highlights, facial tattoos, or just insane details. When I was painting a lot of Empire Troops in Warhammer Fantasy, the Insane Detail Brush is what I use to paint all of the eyeballs. So I, I can vouch for that one. The Regiment Brush, our most versatile brush in our lineup. The Regiment Brush is ideal for speed painting large batches of troops really fast. It's Roth Martyr Sable Hair holds a fine tip for more detailed work. Yeah, so once you spray prime your models and you start going in, this is what you're going to need. This is going to be your workhorse brush, the Regiment Brush. So uh, you want to take good care of it. Don't let the paint get down to the ferrule, which is where the sable hair meets the metal there. If you're brush gets into some paint and the paint dries in there it's going to split the hairs it's going to uh, basically ruin your brush unless you get some brush cleaner in there dissolve that paint clean it out wash it away so take care of your brushes your brushes will take care of you for many many years finally the small dry brush this innovative dry brush is set at a 43 degree angle the perfect angle for dry brushing small areas of the models like chainmail, facial hair or a weapon yeah if you're going to be doing any dry brushing uh, I always prefer to go with the smaller dry brushes because you can control them a lot easier than the medium or the large dry brushes, which I use more for like base work uh, to dry brush the highlights on uh, the texture on a base or um, like fur on a large animal. If you're doing like a thunder, uh, thunder horn or stone horn rather, um, you know, big large animals, then I would go with the large ones. But if you're working with miniatures, like the rank and file infantry sized troops, Loto, then I would go with the small dry brush. All right, so we're gonna take it out of the package and see how they handle. So you take them out of the package and they've got these little plastic protectors over the tips. I didn't realize you could do this. I saw this, uh, somebody showed a quick tip on a YouTube video that you slide this under the back part of a Citadel paint pot, the new ones that they have. 
and it will keep the pot from the pot lid from closing. It'll basically keep it in the open position. It's not great if you're going to be painting for hours on end as you don't want your paint to dry out, but if you're just going to be popping open one of those uh, paint pots to do a quick um, color fix or to do a quick application of a color, these are really great. You just slot them in and then it keeps your paint pots open. All right, start with the Insane Detail Brush. You can see it's on this triangle brush holder. So it's meant to fit comfortably in your hand. Make sure that you don't have any st undue strain as you're working on the insane detail. And uh, let's get in close to see how fine that tip is. Yeah, it's really, really nice. Regiment brush for more uh, larger areas on models. Again, with the triangle shape of the brush, I've always found that Army Painter brushes are really nice to hold. I started with the Citadel paint brushes way back in the early 2000s, and they were all like uh, this, the standard kind of brush, round and uh, um, just smooth, right? No angles, no edges like the triangle brushes. And I found that when you're working to get like really precise detail, and you're trying to hold the brush, it's this, these kinds of brushes would strain my hand more. Having the larger triangle shape uh, really helps when I'm working. Yeah, you just find the right angle. One of them rests on your middle finger, uh, the controlling part, which is your pointer finger, uh, and your thumb rests on two other level surfaces. So it just makes it a lot easier. It takes the strain off of your knuckles in your hand. And uh, yeah, let's just quickly take a look at the small dry brush. Beautiful, perfect for painting chainmail or Hair. So uh, there you go. My review is that for the price I paid, retail $25 over the counter, that pretty much means that I paid about eight and like a, uh, 33, $8.33 for each of these brushes. All right, players, thanks for watching the video. $21.78. I paid $25 retail, so with tax, that means I could have saved five bucks if I clicked the affiliate link down below in the description. Every painter needs these three brushes. Maybe not these army painter brushes, but I need always a detail brush, a standard workhorse brush that's going to help me paint through an entire regiment, and a dry brush, a small dry brush to do the hair, the fur, uh, pick out the raised details and uh, the basing. Get these brushes, add them to your collection, you won't regret it. Uh, or just check the affiliate link and see if your savings might be greater because depending on where in the world you are, it's going to take you to a vendor who's selling a comparable item. You might get even more savings than the one that I found. Thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you to my patrons. Head on over to Discord to see what we're doing there. We'll see you in the next video. Latest players!